Well, it is a celebration of pumpkin and squash as we are just a few days away now from Thanksgiving here in our studio kitchen. To show us some unique ways to use them is Monique Richard, registered dietitian, nutritionist. It is so good to have you back on the show. Great to be here. And Happy I love November. That we still have the brown and the orange yes. because it's not time to turn yet. That's right. The red and green can stay just a little bit further away. A we're not longer. to Thanksgiving yet. So <laughs> we're talking about pumpkin and you were telling me lots of nutritional value when yes. it comes to pumpkin. Yeah, the pumpkin is actually a fruit. It's in the squash family. So squash is actually a fruit as well. So very, very nutritious. Vitamin A, a precursor to vitamin A called beta carotene, okay. full of potassium, manganese, fiber, vitamin C. So very, very nutritious. Now, I don't know how to use it in that form, yeah. but I am very aware of pumpkin in a can. Yes, exactly. <laughs> we were talking about waste. So unfortunately, we in this country, we grow 1.6 billion pounds of pumpkin, but about 1.1 billion is thrown in the landfill. Oh. So I highly encourage us to cut down on food waste if you can uh -huh. and use this because actually this whole thing is edible, including the stem and the skin and of course the seeds. And you know, the internet, you YouTube is very helpful in figuring out how to do that. If you don't want to do all that work, then canned pumpkin <laughs> is absolutely an option, and that's what I use for the for these recipes. Okay, so we're using the canned, yes. and you've made some really neat things with it. Yeah, so it can be a great addition to chili. Huh. You wouldn't think so, um, but what it does is basically changes the texture. It thickens it up a little bit. Okay. You put a whole can of pumpkin in your favorite chili recipe, and it really adds a different richness and dimension. And if you want even more nutrition, add a little cocoa. You get additional flavonoids and you get that richness and then you can spice it up with the cayenne or chili pepper and it complements each other very well. So you just took your normal chili recipe, yep. whatever that may be, yep. and dumped in that can of pumpkin exactly. puree. Exactly, exactly. I did it in a crock pot. I make a vegetarian chili so I use a textured vegetable protein, but you can use the ground turkey, ground meat, leave out the meat, whatever. Um, a bunch of different beans, my, uh, my spices, cumin, um, nice. what else did I do, cayenne pepper, and then again the pumpkin puree and it just adds this beautiful thickness. Okay, yeah. I'm going to try that. Yeah. That does sound fun. But make sure it is 100% pumpkin puree and not the pumpkin pie filling. Uh, you don't want the sweetness. Yeah, you will notice the difference. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. I always remember that too even when you're making your pie. Exactly. It's not the same. Exactly. I found that out the hard way, did yeah. you? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's, um, yeah, we want 100% yeah. pumpkin puree. Definitely a difference. <laughs> okay, yeah. and then you made this one too. Yeah, so when we hop over to the squash family, butternut squash, okay. um, is this is a butternut squash lentil stew. Did this in the Instapot, took 12 minutes. Um, you can buy butternut squash already cubed up frozen if again you don't want to do the work of just, it's difficult to cut, I have uh -huh. to say. I put my husband to work on that one. Um, but it's very, very nutritious. Again, you're getting vitamin C, vitamin A. The lentils are gonna be high in fiber, high in protein, quick. Um, dinner family, yeah. Thanksgiving option if you want. So very, very beneficial. And I do love butternut squash yeah. and I see you have acorn squash yes. over there. Also delicious. Exactly. And Lots of soups, right? We're going into soup season. So stews, chilies, soups, casseroles. Again, this can change the texture of a recipe if you don't want the flavor necessarily. Um, it's a really good addition. Oh, I love it. Yeah. All right, and then we're jumping over to dessert and we're going yes. back to our friend, the pumpkin. Yes, exactly. <laughs> pumpkin mousse. Four ingredients. Okay. P pureed pumpkin, silken tofu, so get the soft tofu. Okay. Make sure to drain the water out. Combine it in a food processor with maple syrup and some pumpkin spices. You've got pumpkin mousse. I gave it to my husband. He said, that tastes like pumpkin pie. It's a beautiful, beautiful, easy recipe. Time Hi to try it? Yes, you get to try your own little, and I've got whipped cream if you want that, chocolate shavings, but yeah, please. So, Dig in. and you use tofu in this because I'm yes. sure a lot of viewers, when you said that, but that adds so much protein. I so would much add. protein, and again, tofu is similar to pumpkin in that it doesn't have a lot of flavor itself. So don't be scared of it. Um, it's just really going to impact the flavor of the pumpkin and the pumpkin spice. It's delicious. Yeah. 
it's really, really good. And you can always do it in those little tartlets with the graham cracker. Yeah. You could put some graham cracker crumbles on top, some Nilla wafers. Um, there's so much. You, you could put this in a pumpkin pie um, pie shell if you wanted okay. to. You could freeze it. Um, there's so many things you can do with it, but so simple and so nutritious and delicious. And it does. It it's so creamy. Good. I love the texture. Yes. Yes. Okay, and you're going to share these recipes with us? Yes. We're going to post them on our website coming yeah. up later today. Also, you can check out her website, eatrightrx.com, for more information. Happy Thanksgiving, Happy Monique. Thanksgiving. Healthy and happy to everyone.